Soils are a lot like sponges in the way they hold and release water. If a soil contains mostly large pores, like coarse sand, it loses water quickly through drainage. If a soil contains mostly small pores, like fine clay, it holds onto water better, but water infiltration, aeration, and root growth can be limited. The available water capacity of the soil is the amount of water held in the soil available for plants. For example, in these two orchard soils, the soil at left has 84% sand and only 0.1 grams per gram of available water capacity. In comparison, the orchard soil at right has less sand and 0.4 grams per gram of available water capacity. The amount of organic matter as well as the sand affects the available water capacity. In this demonstration, the soil with higher sand content had 72 of the 100 mils drained through, which means 28 mils or 28% of the water was held in the soil. The higher organic matter soil had 57 mils of the 100 mils of water drained through, which leaves 43 mils held in the soil. Based on the actual available water capacity measured from these soils, which is done with a pressure plate, the sandy soil held less than an acre inch of water compared to 3.5 acre inches in the high organic matter soil.